What normally happens is I get a message from her, I respond, text back, send. She takes a couple days or hours, 15, 16, 17 hours to respond. And the whole time it feels like my mood is ruined. I check my phone again, I see a response. Oh, my mood's back up and the cycle continues. Does that sound familiar? That was the life I used to live and man, I tell you this right now, I was ruining my relationships with a woman because I didn't know how to communicate properly. Listen, if you're the kind of guy right now and you're going through a phase where you're speaking to a girl and it constantly feels like she's giving you treats, she's giving you enough to make you feel like you guys are going to be together at some point, but you never know for sure. Man, I've lived that life and I tell you this right now, I know why this is happening. The story I'm telling you about right now, situationship had to end because I had to build standards for myself. We never got into a relationship or anything and that happened mainly because I put her up on the pedestal. And that's a big mistake for most guys today is because you're speaking to a girl, maybe you find her attractive and you don't want to lose her or that's the first girl that's giving you a bit of attention, which was kind of my situation. But because that has happened, you're like, I don't want to ruin this, but you giving too much or you doing too much at the start when you don't get to know that person. It's almost like you put when you put yourself, when you put someone else on a pedestal, you speak to a girl, you give her too much, you're just too, too much. You put someone on a pedestal and subconsciously you're putting yourself up under it's just how it works and psychologically what happens is because you're doing too much all your flaws are magnified she gets to decide hmm, do i really want this guy putting someone on the pedestal pedestal makes that person feel great but the sad thing is they will not respect you simply wouldn't because someone that feels like they have you around their finger they know they don't have to do too much to please you and just like that girl just a quick response and i'm eager and i'm, and I'm happy again like i just got so tired of reliving everything and i told myself listen i'm going to build standards for myself man there's no way i'm going to let a text back ruin my day or make my day absolutely not and i promised myself that if I got into a relationship or if I go into another talking stage, I wasn't going to be that guy. And here's the thing, yeah? The only thing that actually genuinely helped me make a change because you're clinging on to that girl and you're trying to do too much because you're too worried that you might not get another girl that's just like her and stuff. And that only happens because you don't believe in yourself. The only way you can actually believe in yourself is when you can go ahead and do hard things. Doing hard things give you the confidence in yourself that I can go out there, create more for myself from nothing, and that and that gives you that belief and the confidence in yourself. Not the result, but the whole process. And what did I do? The one thing I recommend to every single one of you right now is to get in shape, and that's the exact same thing I did. And that's what gave me the confidence to understand that I am enough. Because when you're giving too much and putting someone on the pedestal, is because you're living your life from a place of scarcity. You feel like you don't have enough, so you have to project and give so much, somebody so much more so they can kind of like come into your world and stuff. And trust me, that doesn't work. And just like clockwork, when I started to give my, hold myself to a higher standard, and I promised myself that I wasn't gonna take less, I was only going to be with someone that genuinely treated me the way I wanted to, wanted to be treated, and not someone that treats me however they like because of the way I was acting. Everything changed. Everything changed when changes when you decided to. I want you guys to really understand that because everything that you create for yourself through doing the hard things, that is that creates a new person. But if all you do is just like you kick yourself, you kick your feet back up and be like, oh, I guess what, the girls don't want me then, so I'm just gonna go back home and do whatever and fucking knock one off or fucking, bro. Subscribe to OnlyFans, all the OnlyFans girls on Instagram. Be so for real right now, man. Like, you're not changing the problem. All you're doing is putting a band-aid over a flipping scar. To change from the source, you must do the thing, the hard thing. 
which is committing to something for a long enough period of time and then seeing results from that thing and that thing changes the person. So all those quick fixes or all those small fixes doesn't change anything. I was literally ruin all, ruining all my relationships or all potential relationships I was gonna get into because of my actions. And here's the thing, I'm glad it happened as some, because now I know better. If it never happened, I wouldn't have known how to rectify this and I wouldn't have been able to speak to you guys about a situation like this. So always, always, always hold yourself to a higher standard, man. And here's the thing, man. If you're trying to speak to a girl and everything and you're trying to really get to know that girl and you constantly feel like you're not sure where she's, her head's at and you start to make excuses for her and stuff, bro, she doesn't really fuck with you that much. She doesn't respect you. She doesn't really like you that much. She's probably just keeping you there to give her stroke of ego a little bit and that's about it. I know these things because I've had to live that life. And trust me, no one ever wants to feel played, but it's a sad reality of life, man. Like people are going to play you, except you know better. So always know when to pull back because with the story I was telling you at the start, the story I told you about at the start, I had to be like, enough is enough, man. Like, if, who knows? I might still be in the push and pull till today, a couple years later, because if I didn't pull away, I had to pull away. I had to understand that, listen, like, this is not going anywhere. She's literally just using me for her ego right now. <sighs> Learn to grow and attract the things you want from life. And that only happens when you do the work on the inside. Nothing else is going to bring you all the good things you want from life except you do it yourself because no one is coming to save you. Not even the videos I make right now are, are going to save you because if you just watch the stuff I put out and you don't actually do any work, this is just entertainment for you. And I try to reduce, remove all the edits and stuff just so you can really focus on the words I'm actually saying. And hopefully they start to inspire you to actually act. Look through my videos, bro. You can see the guy I was. A skinny, twig, twiggy guy, low self-confidence, low self-esteem. I had none of those things that can ever make someone like a high value man. But everything and the person I am today, I had to build that from the ground up. And this is the thing. That confidence has allowed me to basically create the life I have today and it's going to allow me to create a lot more in the future because I did the hard things when I was a bit younger and that gave me the confidence that hold on if you can do the hard things then you can definitely do something now understand this and understand that the life you want is right within your grasp and trust me you're going to see success man like I'm very confident that man if I can do this like anyone can because I know how much I struggled man building my body and everything was an absolute nightmare but I promised myself that I was going to make it happen. And here's the thing, once you start to do the work on improving yourself, all you have to do is just focus on your own growth. Focus on your own growth, block out that noise, and trust me, like, the amount of progress you're going to make is going to be ridiculous. Focus on your own growth, focus on the inputs, because a lot of people start to do some sort of self-improvement and then they start to think to themselves like, when am I going to get the results? I hate to break it to you, man, but the results will not come as quickly as you think it would. But it will come, that's the only thing. You don't know when it's going to happen, you, don't, you shouldn't care when it's going to happen, but one thing is sure, it will happen. Understand that and that changes the, the landscape of your vision or your mind of what you expect the goals to be like. I literally said this today on my Instagram story. If you don't, if you haven't already, go follow my Instagram. It's the same username, hd.athlean. Um, I started making this video series and I said, all, I'm care, care, all I care about right now is just the input. I'm currently at 149 videos, short form videos, and the plan is to take that to 1,000. So I don't, I don't care what the, how many followers I have and everything. All I'm focused on is input, 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 because I can keep preaching this to you guys, yeah. If you can become the person that deserves it, the results just come to you. You don't have to try. I don't have to try to build my, I don't have to try to have muscle, muscles. I'm just a guy that deserves muscles because I've been able to create myself and build myself to be the guy who shows up to the gym and trains and everything and then muscles just come to me. And now it's the same with this. I want to be that guy who is the creator, who makes those videos and the success and all the subscribers and all the followers will come. Like, I have no doubt in my mind. 
And I want the same for you guys, man. Like you guys have seen, I want you guys to follow me along with my journey and my growth. Like the reason I keep saying these things about the progress I'm going to make and everything is with the hopes that this is going to inspire you as well to make that change. Because right now you can see that what, I think we're around like 2,000 2, subscribers. That's nothing from the millions of followers we're going to have. But if you can, within yourself right now, start something. It doesn't matter what that is. Start to do the work and match my energy as well because I know for a fact I'm going to stay consistent. So you can use me as a guide and be like, okay, it's, if HD is staying consistent, I'm going to stay consistent as well and we're going to grow together. And trust me, you are going to win. You are going to win. Save this video and come back in, what, what's the date today? 9th of October, 2027. Do the things that I'm saying right now with the, what, what you want to do, commit to it today. Commit to it, don't care about the results, just do the work, focus on getting better, focus on improving, get the volume in, and we're gonna come back on the 9th of October, 2027, and let's see how much progress you've made. I'm confident that you're going to crush it, same I will as well, because I'm not going to stop till I get to where I want to get to. That's the thing about me. I have a very obsessive personality. Once I focus on something, that is my only goal. And my only goal right now is this. <sighs> Hopefully, this will encourage you to make a start and really commit to it and we can all grow together. Anyway, guys, I kind of had a little pivot there at the end, but if you're new here, subscribe. I'd love to see you guys tomorrow. And like I always say, I'm always trying to post every single day because the goal is to inspire millions of people to improve their lives in some way. So if there's anything you've learned today, um, like this video and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. If we can get this to 200 likes, that would be amazing. Anyway guys, that's all for now. And I'll catch you guys soon. <laughs>